mathematics and computer skills are often used to assess children's spatial and visual intelligence. These abilities are tested through IQIE Intelligence Quotient Test. In fact, most schools and colleges attempt to test math and reading fluency skills in entrance tests to determine students' aptitude. Although, IQ is an important tool to measure intelligence of a person, it's not the only thing that will take your child to great heights in life. Research shows that in fact emotional quotient, EQ, is the main component, which keeps children or any person on the path to success in the long run. Experts say that people with the ability to sense emotions and feelings of others are more influential and prosperous in life. In 1905, Alfred Bennett gave the concept of IQ to measure intelligence and presented the theory of mental age for the first time. After this theory, it was proved that apart from physical age of a person, his mind also determines the age, but it has nothing to do with his physical age. In other words, this theory states that a young child may have a higher mental age than an adult based on IQ. In mid-1990s American professor of psychology Daniel Goleman, first introduced the theory of EQ, which is related to a person's emotional intelligence. Before understanding EQ, it is important to understand what emotions are as they play an important role in our daily life. Every day, we spend a great deal of time observing the emotions of others and wondering what they mean. We determine the way we respond to these emotions and sometimes become victims of our own emotional complications. Different standards of human life, social, economic and changing nature of relationships also affect EQ. Due to poverty and financial problems, a person finds it difficult to concentrate fully on one thing. He also faces inner restlessness and pain in solving matters and problems. Similarly, he finds it difficult to control his emotions and feelings and may misunderstand others' feelings of happiness, comfort and hope. A person who has suffered a broken or betrayed relationship feels deprived of feelings of trust, confidence and conviction. Distinguishing between lies and truth becomes a serious problem. Emotionally his expressions also become hollow, making him unreliable to others. Everyone knows how important the ability to express and control their emotions is to a peaceful life. Similarly, it is equally important to understand the feelings of others, gather facts and react to their feelings. Psychologists call this ability emotional quotient. Some experts call it even more important than common sense. EQ is the ability to recognize, understand and control your own and others' emotions. Research shows that people who are more emotionally intelligent are more successful at work and in relationships. Emotionally intelligent people do not act on their emotions, rather they act on their emotions. Emotionally intelligent people have self-awareness, but if their EQ is encouraged, their ability to understand the emotions of others and decide whether or not to act according to them also increases. Emotionally intelligent people know how to control even their strongest emotions, that often lead to anger, bitterness, and inflexibility. Psychologists believe that developing EQ is not an easy task, but at the same time they say that if a person is brave enough to make it his goal to know how people really see him, so he can bring positive changes in himself. EQ is also reflected in how you deal with the emotional stress that comes with everyday life. People with a negative EQ lack humility and are self-centered, unable to see beyond themselves. Because of this flaw, they neither trust others nor feel sympathy for them. Positive EQ is about trying to handle things in an unemotional way without being arrogant. Daniel Goleman says, if you don't have control over your emotions, if you don't have self-awareness, if you can't manage disturbing emotions, if you don't have compassion, if you don't have good relationships with people, so it doesn't matter how smart you are because you won't be able to walk very far. EQ is present in every person, it can be less in some and more in others but not all people are able to utilize it. The good thing is that you can develop your EQ. Research shows that you can definitely get a job based on your good IQ, but if you have a bad EQ, it can get you fired. IQ plays only 20% role in life success whereas EQ plays a bigger role in determining your level of success. 
This is why EQ has such a profound impact in many fields, including the business world. Employees with high EQ are more likely to rise to leadership positions. Organizations now believe that better EQ skills help employees better understand workplace situation and work in a better collaborative environment. This is why organizations now test employees for their EQ skills while hiring them and even provide training to enhance their EQ skills. Research also shows that EQ directly affects our relationships with others. All humans need to understand the emotions and feelings of other humans. They should have the ability to understand where certain emotions and feelings are coming from. What are the reasons and how to express them properly? A person cannot develop and maintain strong and healthy relationships with other people unless they are able to control their own emotions, express their emotions constructively, and understand the emotions of others. According to research, people with low EQ may be attracted to crime and immoral behavior. Children who lack emotional skills are used to keep them isolated. Such children speak with punches rather than justifications in reactive situations. Moreover, such children have difficulty concentrating and frustration and fall behind in education. A high EQ along with a good IQ level helps the child climb the ladder of success with fewer hurdles in life and a better pace.